Bone fishing combines two outdoor skills, angling and hunting. Here's some coming right. The angler stalks the flats, looking for a fish to cast to like a hunter looking for a shot. Okay, shoot it. But without good light, sight fishing becomes virtually impossible, as Liam Neeson and friend Richard Bentley discover. You're casting to fish that you may not see. All you are concentrating on is ripples on the water, looking for different ripples where these fish might be, to the exclusion of every other thought. Now I've seen times where certain angles you're looking at, you, you're looking at the fish at a certain angle, yeah. you can see them. And they don't need to move, they just need to turn. And once they turn, they disappear. They're gone, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I've, I've like a mirror. That. I'm looking at a few fish settling, I mean, just settling, sitting out here. Let's get a look. I've seen them splashing there. It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, where you're pretty confident you're going to get one sooner or later. But there was times with the bonefish that I just thought, I'm never going to catch anything here. Make little tiny steps as you can. Just make little tiny steps. Yeah, keep it going. Keep it going. Shoot it. Keep it tipped low. Okay, okay. Slow, slow. Okay, got it. Tip up. There you go, baby. Watch your hand. Watch your hand. Watch your hand. Watch your finger. You're going to get burned. There you go. Where to go? Where to go? <laughs> Look, he's taking off. <laughs> Look at him. Finally. Doing a weight, and if you want to get it tight, you can always step back. Yeah, you can always walk back. Put another feet a little tight, but I always anticipate that run, so they can run so quick. Yeah. Anticipate it and move your finger. Good, nice looking fish. It's gonna be done in a minute. That's good. Yeah. I don't need it up much further than that. All right, my man. Oh. See? Yeah. If, you, if you're not looking at them straight head on to see this dark color, if they turn like this, see, it turns into like a mirror. You can't even see it. It just it disappear in the water. So that's why they still see that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. There you go. Oh, he's a lovely give him that. Give him that famous rub. And he just forgot everything that just happened. Yeah. And see you later, buddy. He's a lovely fish. All right, my man. Slimy five. Oh. <laughs> Slimy <Good> five. <laughs> <laughs> Catches become more special as the bonefish grows more ghostly, unless more attention is paid to management and habitat. I, d I didn't know, to be honest, before I came on this trip, how in danger they were. I just thought the numbers were down a bit. But it's the future, isn't it? It's like it's like anything like that. Just so that you know, our kids or our grandkids or our great great grandkids can can see them, and any species deserves to be protected. Well, here we are, it's 11 o'clock. We started two hours ago. A lot of waiting, a lot of cloud, and the sun started peeking out, and, and lo and behold, we were able to see some shoals of bonefish. See if you could strip off some really quick. I didn't see this one. And make a couple steps to watch me while you do that. We're gonna see if we get the shot off. So let's walk a little fast to see if we could catch him out, but if not, we'll see if anything else is coming. Yeah. And that could be a really interesting afternoon. Keep it going. Let it go. Shoot it. Okay. Let it sit there. Get low. Short. Short. Strip. Strip. Oh, you got it. Strip. Long, long, long. You got him. Let him run, baby. Let him run. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Way to go, my man. Good stuff. Good stuff. That was classic. You made him eat that. <laughs> now the only thing you do now is sort of hold your rod up as high as you can just yeah. to keep it some of the line out of the water. Right. Um, it's sort of amazing how you you in a you in you in less than a foot of water and these fish can find that yeah. amount of muscle to fight in this. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, it's not done yet. By the time with a big fish, they get tricky on you. You think they're done. Yeah. And then they just make a they make yeah. a hard pull sometimes that with another. And obviously he can he can sense us. Yeah. Nice, I'll get him. Nice stuff. Nice, 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 buddy. Nice fish, my man. It's nice. But I want you to take the hook out of this one, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll show you how to do it. You gotta grab the hook and you just wanna put a little pressure on it. I'll always give him that little rub on the nose there. <laughs> Make a little step towards him as you can, yeah. Keep it going. One more. One more left. Okay. Okay, strip for me. All right, they're really spooky. Keep stripping. 
Okay, now let it go. See that? Hold it. Hold it. Okay, got him. Got him. Let him run, baby. Let him run. Let him take it. Let him take it. <laughs> it's the bonefish that turns the vista from still life to action painting, from museum exhibit to experience. That's my experience of fishing. That's part of why I love it so much. You kind of go into a trance, really, and you don't think about anything else in life other than what's in front of you at that moment. It's like free therapy. Oh, that was great. Absolutely great. Oh, Lynn's got one on as well. Well, you played that one right, and that's still neat. You got low, so the fish couldn't see you anymore. It was good. Yeah. I could see them. Like, yesterday, I couldn't have seen them. Yeah, first. yeah. You saw them good. I can, yeah. That's good. It takes, sometimes it takes your eye, you know, a day or two to yes. really get adjusted. You do reconnect with the Earth. The Earth, including water, sea, currents, and especially when you have a, these great guides telling you, okay, the fish are feeling this, the, coming, the current's coming this way. You just, the more you trust that, the more you can actually really understand it. I just love getting back to nature. And suddenly you actually do know more than you think you do. It's good for my shoulder. And then what you do, you sort of just want to reach down and grab him like underneath the, the, the belly, right underneath the head. Yeah, that's good. All right, just rub his nose and he can get... There you go, my man. There you go, my man. 